What's going on everyone? This is Mitch. Hope you all have had a great start to your weekend so far. We're going to do the weekend forecast, what we've been doing the last few weeks. Um, it looks to be a pretty active weekend weather-wise. It's going to be hot um, depending on where you are. It's not going to be hot in the northeast where a trough has been able to dip down and provide almost like a fall air mass for you guys. Y'all are waking up to some very comfortable fall-like temperatures um, this morning. But if you're in the southeast, for instance, here in Georgia, the Carolinas, and just the deep south, it is very uncomfortable this morning. Temperatures barely made it below 80 degrees, and it just does not feel that great outside at all. It's just um, last day of July, which fits well with the hottest time of the year, and it is very uncomfortable out there this morning. But later today, it's going to warm up quickly, and there's going to be the chance for some explosive thunderstorms to really form, and actually some downright severe storms to form tomorrow. We're going to break these things down. We're likely going to break down in more detail tomorrow, tomorrow morning, if that makes sense. So for tomorrow evening, we're going to break that down more tomorrow morning as we have more information, more data comes in. But uh, thank you all for tuning in this morning. If you guys have not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. I do want to mention later tonight, I'm going to get um, give you all guys a breakdown of what we can begin to expect as we get into August. Last day of the month today, August 1st is tomorrow. Um, I told you guys several weeks ago that um, August was going to be a big month to figure out what this season is going to do. You're starting to see signs that uh, activity is about to increase, so I'm going to break that down tonight, so stay tuned. Um, so let's get going here. So right now, this is for today. We have a marginal risk for severe storms. You have this area right here ongoing right now. There's some nasty storms right now in Missouri and places like that. But um, there's a little stripe of a marginal area, basically the coastal areas of uh, North Carolina, the most of it, um, all the coastal areas of South Carolina, and a little small area near Savannah, too. And this stretches inland um, about 100 or so miles, depending on where you are. It's places like Orangeburg, almost up to Fayetteville not quite to Columbia, um, is under a marginal risk. But uh, I really think there's going to be some strong to severe storms popping up in this area today, especially I really think it's going to heat up very quickly today. Um, so we need to watch out here and 5% uh, chance of uh, wind damage of 25 miles in any given location. Um, hail, not going to be a big threat tomorrow, but there is a small tornado threat in um, basically the areas of Missouri, Illinois, um, even a small area of Tennessee, northwest Tennessee, and western areas of Kentucky. So I'll have to watch out for that today. Tomorrow, I really think it's going to be the big threat of severe weather. Um, this is tomorrow, as in Sunday. Marginal risk counting in the same areas going stretching all the way to just north of Savannah, all the way into the southern areas of Delaware, including Richmond, um, Raleigh, but then you have this big area in eastern areas of North Carolina, southeastern areas of Virginia that's under a slight risk of severe storms. It's been a pretty active last, really, uh, two weeks for severe weather um, here in the eastern U.S. Um, it's not uncommon, but it's definitely not very common, especially this far south. You don't really see many slight risk, definitely don't see many enhanced risk uh, th this far south at this time of the year. But uh, pattern is in place for it, so we're going to have a chance to have some very, um, uh, inst the instability is going to be very high. Um, and then you're actually going to have, uh, the hodographs are going to favor supercells, which means it promotes a tornado threat. And basically just with the winds veering and changing up in the middle of this event tomorrow, it's going to provide a little bit of a spin to the atmosphere. So there is going to be a tornado threat. As you can tell, there's a highlighted 2% risk. No, that's not a lot, but I really think we're going to maybe definitely get some tornado warnings tomorrow. There's a high wind threat, too. Um, there's going to be a chance of damaging winds stretching all the way into the South Carolina. Um, hail threat's going to be high, too. Not high, but it's going to be a threat because of the chance of supercells. There's also a chance of severe weather up here in the interior and northeast. We're really going to break down this area of the Carolinas here, um, but I don't know why that panel was up. But here we go. We're going to look at the radar here. And moving forward today, um, this is why you have that marginal risk right here in this area. Um, basically, um, you have kind of a dying area of thunderstorms that's going to continue to kind of die here. And then it's going to get into Kentucky and try to get going again. Um, and some more storms are going to explode here, really in Missouri. So there's going to be a nasty area, some storms that develops here, some severe storms. 
I don't expect any kind of widespread outbreak of severe weather though. But uh, check it out here in the Carolinas, especially South Carolina. You have some strong storms really developing as you get late this evening. Um, we'll get a little bit closer to that here. Um, and as you can tell, this goes all the way out until about, I don't know, about 9 or 10 p.m. And storms are still going just south of Columbia. But this is just guidance. You don't really know exactly where these storms are going to pop up. But I do think today there's going to be some pop-up strong to severe storms that gets going anywhere from Columbia to Macon points east to Charlotte points east to maybe Raleigh points east. And uh, there's going to be some individual stronger cells that has a chance to produce damaging winds and maybe some small hail. I don't see any kind of tornado threat today. Um, as far as uh, temperatures, tell of, of two parts of the country here. The northeast, even northern areas in the mid-Atlantic, are waking up to some areas around the 40s. Um, I saw something where the Hudson Valley in New York a state um, almost tied their record lowest temperature for this date. forgot the exact location, but uh, very chilly up there in some spots. Um, if they consider the 40s um, the last day of July chilly, I'm not sure, but I'm sure I would love to have 40s in July here in South Carolina, I'll tell you that. But um, you walk outside right now if you're in North Carolina, the Carolinas, Alabama, um, Georgia, <clears throat> Mississippi, Florida, as always, Texas. Um, it is very uncomfortable this morning. Um, uh, temperatures barely made it below 80 degrees, and it's just, it's just, there's just no, um, I'm, there's just, it just doesn't feel great outside at all. Um, but check it out. Um, we warm up today, and notice how hot the southeast is. Temperature is going to soar very quickly. Um, to the 90s, there might be a couple 100 degree readings. It's going to be hard pressed to get that. But look at the Northeast. Look at Boston. Highs in the 70s today. Even New York City, um, very comfortable temperatures, lower dew points. Highs only in the 60s and 50s in the interior, higher elevations of the Northeast. And there's going to be some kind of boundary in place, probably in Pennsylvania. And then the temperatures are much higher the farther south you go. Um, so we need to watch out here. But this is, we're going to take a look at this and we're going to break this down a little bit more tomorrow, especially if we see if this intent continues to trend higher with a severe weather threat. But as we get into tomorrow, we're going to fast forward to tomorrow morning. It's quiet in the morning for the most part. There might be some leftover energy moving through Virginia, so it might be a loud morning in the morning hour Sunday. But as we're getting into tomorrow afternoon, evening, some of these storms really could produce a quick spin up, a quick tornado. Um, I don't, it's not going to be any kind of outbreak like New Jersey or anything, but these could really have some supercell nature to them. Um, I've thought about going up here and chasing them. It's a Sunday in this church, and it's hard to do it on a Sunday. Sunday's like the worst day, even worse than weekdays, the chase. Um, and it's a little bit of a long ride, but um, I'm trying to save up all my energy for hurricane season. Um, I really am. Um, it's tempting. It's hard. It's tempting, but it's hard for me to even drive 20 miles right now to go chase the storm just because I know that um, I need to save up my money. I need to save up my energy. And um, for, the, for when I make them long hauls to try to get the most intense parts of these hurricanes for you guys this um, this hurricane season. So um, um, th it could definitely get rocky from Raleigh to east, Raleigh southeast, um, areas in Greenville, North Carolina, the Fayetteville, Newborn, Newburn, uh, Wilmington, uh, the Outer Banks, um, Elizabeth City. Even areas in Florence to Myrtle Beach, something even down to Charleston, even into Columbia, you know, some nasty weather. These are some nasty looking storms that are going to develop more. And really all threats are on the table. Um, damaging wind and is probably the biggest threat, some downburst, but uh, we need to watch out for sure. Um, I'll get a little bit more detail with this because uh, it's gonna be a rocky afternoon um, for sure tomorrow in the Carolinas and Virginia, but that's all I got, guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. Stay tuned tonight. I got y'all an update on the tropics. Um, it's starting to heat up. No immediate threats at all. Nothing's developed, but something's brewing out there, I think, here in the coming weeks. Y'all have a blessed day, and uh, stay safe out there.